Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you are here today. While I am sitting and waiting on my grocery pickup, I thought I would introduce today's video. I'm trying to be super real with y'all and show you the aftermath of the holiday season on my master closet because it's bad. Like, really bad. It's seriously been neglected for several months now, and in all truth, I'm not the best about keeping our master closet clean because I spend more time cleaning and organizing high traffic areas or places that my kids spend the most time so that it is not feeling cluttered or uncomfortable for our family. So yeah, the master closet just doesn't get a whole lot of love, but it's driving me crazy right now and it is time to get it back in shape so that I don't have to look like I am playing an obstacle course when I go to get my clothes in the morning. So let's just dive right in and get started. As you can see, there is wrapping paper, gift boxes, gifts we received from Christmas, purses, Christmas decor, shoes, all kinds of stuff just all over the floor. You name it, we've probably got it. Blake and I look like we're walking through an obstacle course each time we come into the closet. Our closet does not get as much attention as other parts of our house, and that's okay since it's really only me and Blake using this space, but I had to draw the line at this mess and get it back in order. Here I'm going to start by picking up trash there were Christmas bows and wrapping paper and boxes all over the floor because our closet was like our Christmas hub. This is where we put stuff when we don't want our kids to see it. So there's just a lot of mess in there. Also, I am bad about trying something on for work or church or whatever and then throwing it down in the floor instead of putting it back on a hanger. I know it's a terrible habit, but I do it. And so I'm gonna be hanging up some clothes that need to be put back on the rack. This year, we were sick during Christmas and you're even gonna see me moving some Christmas gifts out because we didn't get to do Christmas with our family. So there are still some people that we need to give gifts to. And then, like the big boxes in the back that you see, that's where I was hiding gifts. And then there's just random decor pieces. So I'm just moving everything out so that I can start fresh. And then on top of being our Christmas storage, you know, everything else gets thrown in there too. So you'll see all kinds of stuff. And then I'm moving all of my shoes from one side of the closet to the side that they're supposed to be on. So when I say the closet was messy, I mean it was really messy. Also, if you see me randomly talking to myself during this video, don't worry. I'm actually talking to my children. They were right outside of the closet in my bedroom and they were asking lots of questions and telling me all the things um, because they like to be close to their mama and I like when they're close by. So I am talking a good bit during the video. At this point, I'm going through my shoes and getting rid of ones that I don't reach for anymore and putting ones in boxes that need to be stored. And one of my issues is just storing shoes in this closet. I have a ton of shoes because I have to be dressed professionally for work, but finding ways to store them is an issue for me. Now, I know you're probably thinking, why in the world does she keep all those shoe boxes? And I'm so glad that you've asked. We had a house fire about five years ago. Lightning struck our house. We were asleep. It woke us up, but we actually started to fall back asleep, and thank goodness for great smoke detectors. This is where I'm plugging having a smoke detector, guys, because it's really important, but it woke us up, and most of my shoes were saved because they were in boxes, so yeah, 
I'm a fan of keeping the boxes. Now here we are taking a kitten break. Our cat, we actually have two cats, Anna and Elsa. And Elsa just had four kittens about two weeks ago and we are just smitten with them. We love cuddling them. They are the sweetest little things and I begged Blake to let me keep them all but we actually have homes lined up for most of them. So back to my closet. I'm going through my clothes to take out anything that I don't wear anymore. I am removing things that are out of season, like my Christmas t-shirts or anything I wear for Thanksgiving. I am taking loose hangers that I find and putting them back where they belong so that it's easier to find them later. And then a lot of our clothes just don't get hung up properly because we're busy. I work full time, I have three small kids, and it just doesn't happen. And that's okay. So I'm taking time to straighten up the clothes as they're hanging on the rack. Here I'm using one of my laundry baskets to empty my shelves off so that I can clean them and get rid of any of the things that I don't need that get pushed in there. And boy were these shelves super dusty and I know you saw my little buddy just run back behind my clothes and it looks like my hangers are haunted because they just keep wiggling but he is playing hide and seek with his daddy at this moment so he is just hiding in my clothes it's one of his favorite hiding spots you will notice that I have changed outfits a couple of times during this video and that's because this closet clean out was a big job and not only that but like I said I work full time I have three small children so some of this was filmed on the weekend some of it's filmed at night when everyone's asleep but this was definitely not just like a couple hour project it took a while it took a few days actually and I don't like giving up much time with my kids so I try really hard to do it whenever they're occupied or sleeping Now this is Blake's side of the closet and I'm going to clean it off so I can better organize on it. But I'm going to be honest with you, I try not to move all of his stuff or reorganize it too much because this is his space as well and I don't want things to be hard for him to find. So some of his stuff won't get moved and the same goes for his clothes. Unless he's here to specifically tell me what he wants to get rid of, I just don't mess with it. I am going to be dusting off the shelves and replacing his items. I found these storage bins on sale at Target for half price right after Christmas. And so you can see that I've just put like boxes of undershirts or extra packs of socks in here just to um, tidy up Blake's area a little bit more. Originally I was going to use that for kids toy storage but then I decided just to use them here. Blake has a lot of hats so I wanted to organize them but still make them easily accessible for him. I try to put the ones that he reaches for most often on the top of the stacks. I have a couple more bins from Target that I'm going to use on my side of the closet. The middle shelf will be more decor and jewelry. In one of the bins I've decided to store hats, belts, my small bag, and just some miscellaneous items. I have this little gold box that I'm planning to use for jewelry storage and I thought it would be cute to display on the middle shelf. Next, I'm going to show you my Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon Perfume that I got from Target. It smells so good. I absolutely love it. have my little jewelry dish with a K on it and then my jewelry tree with my bracelets and my necklaces.
Now I am just straightening up Blake's clothes and removing any loose hangers and putting them back where they go. But like I said earlier, I'm not going to get rid of any of his stuff unless I specifically ask him about it. So really, I'm just tidying up his area. I am finally finished with organizing and getting everything back where it goes. So now I'm just vacuuming my floor and my rug, and then I'm going to be finished with this closet. Here is the end result of the closet clean out. I was able to get everything back in order and even more organized than it was before, and I am so happy with the results. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope that you will like this video if you enjoyed my closet clean out. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss out on any new videos that I have. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye y'all.